بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد كان لكم في رسول الله أسوة حسنة صدق الله العلي العظيم إن الله ملاكته يسلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما صلى الله على النبي الأمي وآله صلى الله عليه وسلم صلاة وسلاما عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت يا حي يا قيوم تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا اللهم يا كريم أكرمني بنور الفهم وأخرجني من ظلمات الوهم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم امام محمد بن اسماعیل بخاری علی رحمۃ الردوان کی اخلاق و اداب پر اور اس کے موضوع پر کتاب احادیث کا جو ذخیرہ آپ نے جمع فرمایا بنام الادب المفرد میں سے آج ان شاء اللہ ایک سو چھبیس و باب آپ کے سامنے پیش کیا جائے گا باب الدحق الدحق ان شاء اللہ دا چیپٹر آن لافٹر چیپٹر آن ہنسنے کا بیان اوکے ڈینجر آف دیٹ But then you have the other extreme where you expect people to be gloomy, dull-faced, sad all the time. Yeah, I mean, you know, last time I was, um, last time, yeah, it was last time, put on a lot of calories after that. Um, someone spotted the Maulana's running and uh, they came back and they said, Oh, Maulana, you know what, you were, I saw you. I said, where? Uh, you were walk, you were right, running on Blackburn Road. I said, what's wrong with that? Yani, ulama, we, and then you say, okay, some, some people come to you and they say, you know, you joke too much, we laugh too much, etc. Everything is in moderation. I can give you examples of great ulama. Obviously, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi is a prime example. Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi is our role model. But even with the ulama, Great ulama, Allah Hazrat Rahmatullah If you read Hayati Allah Hazrat, you will understand how beautiful his jests were. Ilmi Latifi, they were called. And how he used to love, have light spells of humor. Sadr Shayyar Rahmatullah Ali. Huzum Mahdis Azami Hind Rahmatullah Ali. In Ruhani Hikayat Allama Abdul Mustafa Azmi, a great erudite scholar of hadith and tafsir, has written many, many books like Samana Akhirat Jannati Zebar. Sirat al-Mustafa Salaam, which has been translated in English and we, alhamdulillah, study it. A great scholar of his age, student of Sadr Shaykh Rahmatullah Alayhi. He refuted in Ruhani Hikayat those Maulbis, he calls them Khushk Maulbi, the dry Maulanas. He calls them dry because the, the, the sense of, they, have, they don't have a sense of humor. And calls them, this is against the Qur'an, against the Sunnah, against the prophetic way, against the, uh, the, the, the akhlaq of the Prophet And he mentions many, many different narrations about how al ulama had beautiful um, sense of humor, mashallah. In which they also taught people, you know, knowledge. Nonetheless, listen to this hadith about one extreme. حدثنا سليمان بن داود أبو الربيع قال حدثنا إسماعيل بن زكريا قال حدثنا أبو رجاء عن برد عن مكحول عن واثلة بن الأسقع رضي الله تعالى عن عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه عن مجمعين قال قال النبي صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم أقل الضحك فإن كثرة الضحك تميت القلب نعوذ بالله سیدنا ابو حریرا رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ سے روایت ہے کہ نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے اشارت فرمایا ہنسنے کو کم کرو کم ہنسو 
ہر چیز کا ایک موقع محل ہوتا ہے اوکے بٹ وین سیریس تھنگز آر بینگ ڈسکسڈ دین ٹو لف ان دا مس آف دیٹ دیٹس دیٹس ویری رانگ اینڈ ایکسیسو لف ٹو آلویز جوکنگ اینڈ جیسٹنگ اینڈ موکنگ اینڈ ان آور یو نو چیٹ چیٹ اینڈ گپ شپس دیٹ وی ہیو ہنٹ یعنی we excessive laughter okay it's it's about the prophet sallallahu said hasne ko kam karo kyunki zyada hasna dil ko murda kar deta hai excessive laughter kills the spirit of the heart kills the noor it diminishes the noor within the heart and the worst thing is to go to the graveyard and start laughing in that place that's the worst thing Uh, a place of great seriousness in the masajid again in the masajid obviously outside me it is is a different thing but inside the mosque yeah it is it's a different environment hadathana muhammad ibn bashar qal hadathana abu bakr al hanafi qal hadathana abdul humaid or abdul hamid apologies abdul hamid حدثنا عبد الحميد بن جعفر عن ابراهيم بن عبد الله عن ابي هريره رضي الله تعالى عنه وعنهم اجمعين عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال لا تكثر الضحك فان كثره الضحك تميت القلب a very version which also means do not laugh excessively do not engage in excessive laughter excessive laughter will diminish the nur of the heart will kill the heart تميت القلب kills the heart kills the spirit of the heart And hence, counseling and admonishment from the Qur'an and Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu will have no effect on that person because he hangs around with his friends and all, they're always mocking one another, they're always joking with one another, yeah, picking on one another. And um, there's no seriousness in, in, in their discussions, but nonetheless. حدثنا موسى قال حدثنا ربيع بن مسلم قال حدثنا محمد بن زياد عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه وعن مجمعين قال خرج النبي صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم على رهط من أصحابه يضحكون ويتحدثون سيدنا أبو هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه فرماته هي كي ايك مرتبا نبي كريم صلى الله عليه وسلم صحابي كرام كي ايك جماعت كي پاس تشريف لائے جو آپس میں حس رہے تھے اور باتے کر رہے تھے فقال والذي نفسي بيده لو تعلمون ما أعلم لضحكتم قليلا ولا باكيتم كثيرا آپ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ارشاد فرمایا قسم ہے اس ذات کی جس کے قبض قدرت میں میری جان ہے اگر تم اس اس بات کو جان لیتے جس کو میں جانتا ہوں تو تم تھوڑا ہستے اور زیادہ روتے اگر وہ حقیقت جو میرے پیش نظر ہے قیامت اس کی ہولنا کیا بلکہ قیامت سے پہلے نزا کا عالم پھر بزق کی زندگی اس کے بعد حشر و نشر و میزان و سرات کے مراحل اگر آپ یہ تمام چیزیں عین القین یا حق القین کے ساتھ دیکھ لیتے تو آپ ہستے کم اور روتے زیادہ آخر کی زیادہ فکر آپ کو لائک ہوتی تھی پروفی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم آف از نوبل کمپینینس انگیج ان لائٹ ہیوما ٹاکنگ ود ون اندر ڈسکسنگ ود ون اندر اینڈ دے آلسو لافنگ اینڈ دا میسن صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیڈ بائی دا ون ان ہوز کنٹرول از مائی سول وہ یو ٹو نو وٹ آئی نو دا حقائق دا ریالٹیز وچ آئی نو to the level of haqqul yaqeen if you were to see these things in reality which is which is in the unseen realm now then you would laugh a little and you would cry a lot because of the forthcoming <coughs> stages of life you have the interspatial life the realm the barzakh between death and resurrection then you have the resurrection even before resurrection and in the spatial life you have death The agonies of death, سكرات الموت اللهم إني أعوذ بك من سكرات الموت وغمراتها The Prophet used to make dua Oh Allah, I seek refuge with you from the agonies of death from the, the uh, inexplainable pain that a person will feel at the time of death And then you have Hashr, An-Nashr, Mizan, Sirat The accounting, Hisab and Kitab ثم انصرف وأبكى القوم But these words had an effect on the Sahaba. Their hearts were filled with Iman, as you will hear later on. They used to laugh, but their hearts were at the pinnacle, had the uh, pinnacle of Iman in themselves. They had mountains of Iman in their hearts. 
unshakable faith they had. They had full certainty in Allah, full certainty in Qiyamah. So what happened? The Messenger of he returned and he made the people cry. These few words, not a huge lecture, the Prophet said, لَوْ تَعْلَمُونَ مَا أَعْلَمْ لَبَكَيْتُمْ قَلِيلًا وَبَكَيْتُمْ كَثِيرًا When he returned, he left in a state that the entire group of companions were crying, were weeping. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a revelation. وَأَوْحَى اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلْ إِلَيْهِ Nabi Kareem صلى الله عليه وسلم جب یہ فرمایا کرام کو آپ نے روتے ہوئے چھوڑا اس وقت اللہ تعالیٰ نے نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی طرف وحی بھیجی یا محمد لما تقنط عبادی اے پیارے میرے محبوب تم میرے بندوں کو کیوں مایوس کرتے ہو اللہ اللہ کی رحمت دیکھیں سبحان من سبقت رحمتہ غضبہ He is ارحم He is the سبحان اللہ The best of all those The most merciful of all those ارحم الراحمین The best of all those who show mercy He sent a revelation and said Oh my beloved Why do you Put my servants in despair. فرجع النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال أبشروا وسددوا وقاربوا نبي كريم صلى الله عليه وسلم وأبس تشريف لاي أور فرماي خوش هو جاو تمالي خوش خبري هي glad tidings to you rejoice أور تيك تيك جلو أور عمل كرو صحيح كرني كي كوشش كرو the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said glad tidings to you أبشروا هاف بشارة because this بشارة came from Allah سبحانه وتعالى adopt the the, the, the straight path and persevere in good actions and strive to be always doing good and Allah subhanahu will give you bishara in this world and bishara in the akhirah subhanallah so again striking the right balance iman is khawf and raja iman is fear and hope al imanu bayna raja wal khawf raja and khawf are the two wings of iman if you don't strike the right balance is going to be catastrophic devastating to some extent Khawf to such an extent it becomes like a phobia. Someone is in despair of the mercy of Allah. This is what the Quran says. Kufr. None become despair of the mercy of Allah except for those who are in denial of the existence of Allah who deny Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then you have raja hope, but it should be to an extent that you become so content with yourself that a person misses his prayers, doesn't give his zakah, doesn't fulfill the rights of Allah and his messenger and his parents and his neighbors and his family and all those under him and thinks that he's got a straight ticket to Jannah because he was born in a Muslim family and he's mashallah eaten dar chawal at anyaz. Bab idha aqbala aqbala jami'an wa idha adbara adbara jami'a. This is the noble character of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Subhanallah. Listen to this. Right. جب نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کسی کی طرف متوجہ ہوتے تھے جب آپ کسی کی طرف متوجہ ہوتے تو آپ پوری طرح توجہ کرتے اور جب واپس تشریف لے جاتے تو آپ پوری طرح واپس تشریف لے جاتے whenever the Prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم face someone he would face someone fully completely یہ نہیں کہ بات میں آپ سے کر رہا ہوں اور اس طرح میں آپ کو دیکھ رہا ہوں جی حدیث آپ looking at you uh, as someone with the corner of the eye. This is a sign of arrogance. When you speak to someone, you turn to them. This is, this is the man of the Prophet. Someone who used to call upon the Prophet from behind and he used to turn completely facing that person. This is the adab. And the person felt that he was given, att- given attention. May Allah grant me the tawfiq to do so, inshallah, and everyone to uh, emulate the prophetic character. حدثنا بشر بن محمد قال أخبرنا عبد الله قال أخبرنا أسامة بن زيد قال أخبرني مسبن مسلم مولى ابنة مولى ابنة قارض عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه وعنه مجمعين أنه ربما حدث عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فيقول حدثنيه أهدب الشفرين أبيض الكشحين إذا أقبل أقبل جميعا وإذا أدبر أدبر جميعا لم تر عين مثله ولن تراه سبحان الله A beautiful depiction, explanation, summary of the character of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the way he beautifully mentions it Sayyiduna Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala had a beautiful way of narrating the ahadith from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Previously we mentioned the way he explained the ahadith He said 
these two eyes of mine have seen and these two ears of, of mine have heard. And then he explained the hadith of the Prophet. In this hadith, he says, Sayyiduna Abu Hurairah, hadith bayan karte hu, farmate, ke mujse aisi zat ne bayan kiya, jiski mubarak palke lambi thi, khubsurti. Nabi Karim Sama ke baare bayan farmate. The one who had beautiful long eyelashes ex- narrated to me. Jin ke pehlu safed the one whose sides were uh, uh, um, shining brightly with lu- luminous. Wo kisi ki taraf mutawajjih hote the, to puri taraf mutawajjih hote the. He, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the one who had beautiful long eyelashes, the one whose blessed body was beaming with radiance, he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was, was uh, uh, emitting a beautiful light. When he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, used to face someone, he would face fully, completely. To give them that full attention. So the, the, the person uh, who is speaking feels important. At times we, when someone speaks to us, we like, you know, facing this way and the person is speaking to us from here. And we're looking at them with the corner of the eye. This ain't the way of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. إِذَا أَقْبَلَ أَقْبَلَ جَمِيعًا And then he says, اور جب توجہ پھیر کر روانہ ہو جاتے تھے تو پوری طرح توجہ ختم کر کے روانہ ہوتے تھے. When he used to return, he used to return back fully. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then he says, لَمْ تَرَ عَيْنٌ مِثْلَهُ وَلَمْ تَرَاهُ کسی آنکھ نے کبھی ایسا دوسرا شخص نہیں دیکھا اور نہ کبھی کوئی آنکھ ایسا شخص دیکھ سکے گی. No eye has beheld anyone as better and as beautiful as the Prophet Wasallam. and I swear that no one shall ever see anyone as beautiful as the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Ali Wa Sahbihi Wa Sallam. Subhanallah. Another beautiful hadith, inshaAllah, Azza wa Jal. Couple of uh, hadith. Bab al Mustashar u Mu'tamin or al Mu'taman. Al Mustashar u Mu'tamin. Jisse mashwara talab kiya jai, wo amanat dar hota hai. Jisse mashwara talab kiya jai, wo amanat dar hota hai. This is the chapter on consultation and the adab of consultation. When someone is consulted, he is in a position of trust now. Now he has to relay the right information, the correct information and that in which there is great benefit for the one seeking his advice and his consultation. He is now Mu'taman, someone who has been entrusted with an amana. حَدَّثَنَا آدَمُ قَالْ حَدَّثَنَا شَيْبَانُ أَبُو مُعَاوِيَةَ قَالْ حَدَّثَنَا عَبْدُ الْمَالِكَ وَعَبْدُ الْمَالِكِ بْنِ عُمَيْرٍ عَنْ سَلَمَ تَبْنِي عَبْدِ الرَّحْمَانِ عَنْ أَبِي هُرَيْرَةُ رَضِيَ الله تعالى عنه قال قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لأبي الهيثم هل لك خادم قال لا قال فإذا أتانا سبي فأتنا فأتي النبي صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم برأسين ليس معهما ثالث فأتاه أبو الهيثم قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم اختر منهما قال يا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اختر لي it's a beautiful hadith. Sayyiduna Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu siri wa'at hai ke Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ne Sayyiduna Abu Al-Haytham sahabi se farmaya ki tumhare paas koi khadim hai. Do you have a servant? Koi nokar hai? Taake tumhare kaam kaaj mein aasani paida ho sake wo haath bata sake. Unho ne arz kiya ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mere paas koi khadim nahi hai. Aap sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ne farmaya ke jab hamare paas koi qaydi a jaye to hamare paas a jana. When there are some captives of war, some captives of war who are brought to us, slaves, then come to me. You've not got a slave, but when I am given such slaves, you come to me, inshaAllah. Azza wa Jal. Durushib Allah, Musallam, Allah, Sayyidina, Allah, Muhammad, Ma'adani Judi, Wal Karami, Allah, Sahib, Barik, Wa Salim. Uske baad, Nabi Kareem, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, ke paas do qaydi laay gaye. Un dono ke saath tisra nahi taha. Thereafter, later, maybe days after or months after, two captives of war were brought to the Prophet ﷺ. There were only two of them. There was no third person. Abu Haytham, aapke paas aaye. So Sayyid Abu Haytham came to the Prophet ﷺ as he was told by the Prophet ﷺ. To unse Nabi Karim ﷺ ne farmaya, in dono mein se, jisko chaho tum chunlo. 
اپنے خادم کی حیثیت سے آپ ان دونوں میں سے کسی کو چوز کرو اختیار کر لو چن لو چوز ون آف دیم سید ابو الحیثم سید یا رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم آپ میرے لیے چن لیجیے یو چوز فار می آئی گیو یو دی پرمیشن ٹو چوز اے خادم فار مائی سیلف سبحان اللہ ایٹ دس پوائنٹ دا پرابی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سید ان المستشار مؤتمن خذ هذا فإني رأيته يصلي واستوص به خيرا نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اس وقت فرمایا بلا شبہ جس سے مشورہ طلب کیا جائے تو سیدہ ابو الحیثم نے نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کا خادم کو چننے میں مشورہ لیا تھا تو نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اس وقت یہ فرمایا کہ جس سے مشورہ طلب کیا جائے شادی کے متعلق کام کاج کے متعلق کسی بھی چیز کے مطلب کیا یہ گاری میلے خرید اچھا ہوگا یا کیا فلاں کی شادی فلاں سے فلانا سے یہ کیا یہ درست ہوگی شادی وغیرہ یہ بچہ کیسا ہے وغیرہ 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 تو جب آپ سے مشورہ لیا جائے نکاح کے متعلق مثلا نکاح کے متعلق یا تجارت کے متعلق تو اب آپ امانت دار ہے آپ کا یہ حق بنتا ہے کہ آپ حق بات کہہ دیں یہ نہیں کہ آپ نے کسی کو مشورہ دیا کہ جی ہاں بہت اچھا بچہ ہے یہ ہے وہ ہے جیسے کہ بھی آسمان سے اترا ہے اور پھر بعد میں یہ گھر بر والا نکلے اوکے سو از ویری ویری امپورٹنٹ وین سم ون سیکس یور ایڈوائس کمس ٹو کنسلٹ یو اسپیشلی ان میٹرز آف دین اینڈ اسپیشلی ان ریلیشن فار ایگزامپل ویری امپورٹنٹ اسٹیج ان لائف وچ از میریج دیٹ یو بی یو آر آنیسٹ یو ہیو ٹو بی آنیسٹ بیکاز You may ruin someone's life. Marriage ain't a joke. It, it scars people for life. It's, it's emotionally, if, if it goes wrong, it's emotionally uh, tiring. It, it drains a person emotionally. Okay? So it's very, very important. If you don't know, then you then give mashwara. I, I know someone who will give you a better advice. You then direct that person to him. Not that you, you can become a mufti and say, I know the answer for everything. I know everyone, every, everybody inside out. So, you know. Like Mystic Meg, Astaghfirullah. And then uh, you start giving uh, the wrong advice. So the Prophet ﷺ said, the one who is being consulted is in a position of trust. Is ghulam ko lelo. The Prophet ﷺ then pointed towards one servant and said, take this as your servant. Why? What was the criterion? Is liye ke maine usko namaz parte dekha hai. Subhanallah. Oh, but yehi nahi. نبی کریم صاحب اس کے بعد یہ بھی فرمایا اور میں تم کو اس کے ساتھ اچھے سلوک کی وسیع کرتا ہوں کہ تم اس کے ساتھ اچھے اخلاق کے ساتھ پیش آؤں کیوں کہ وہ نماز پر رہا تھا وہ نماز پن جگانا وقت پر ادا کرتا ہے اس کے ساتھ اس سے سلوک کرو آئی سو ہیم پرینگ نماز ڈلیجنٹلی ان اس پرسکرائب ٹائم سو میک شو دیٹ یو ٹریٹ ہیم ود گڈ مینس And the reason why the Prophet ﷺ chose him over the other because of namaz, because of prayer. So then what happened? فَقَالَتْ اِمْرَأَتُهُ مَا أَنْتَ بِبَالِغِمْ مَا قَالَ فِيهِ النَّبِيُّ صلى الله عليه وسلم إِلَّا أَن تُعْتِقَهُ سَيِّدُنَا أَبُ الْحَيْثَمْ کی بیوی نے کہا جب وہ خادم لے کر کے آئے تو ان کی اہلیہ نے ان سے کہا کہ نبی کریم صلى الله عليه وسلم نے اس غلام کے بارے میں جو وسط فرمائی تھی کیا وسط فرمائی تھی؟ کہ تم ان کے ساتھ اچھا سلوک کرو اچھے معاملات کے ساتھ اچھے معاملے کے ساتھ ان کے ساتھ پیش آؤ ہم یہ وسیعت کو اس وقت تک پورا نہیں کر سکتے ہیں جب تک کہ ہم اس کو آزاد نہ کر دیں اب آپ اللہ تعالیٰ کی خاطر اس غلام کو لبج ہلہ آزاد کر دو سبحان اللہ his noble wife said she wasn't someone you know let's you know have a red carpet because it's from today I ain't baking any chapatis I ain't washing the dishes I ain't washing the clothes today I've got a khadim servant doing everything for me no She said, if you want to fully fulfill the counsel, the advice of the Messenger ﷺ, then the only thing is that you free the slave, emancipate him for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Sayyiduna Abu Al-Haysam said, فَهُوَ عَتِيقٌ He is freed for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَقَالَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَمْ يَبْعَثْ نَبِيًّا وَلَا خَلِيفَةً إِلَّا وَلَهُ بِطَانَتَانَ بطانة تأمره بالمعروف وتنهاه عن المنكر وبطانة لا تألوه خبالا ومن يوق بطانة السوء فقد وقيا 
صلی اللہ او کما قال صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم پھر نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم فرمایا بلا شبہ اللہ تعالی نے کسی نبی کو نہیں بھیجا اور کسی شخص کو خلافت سپرد نہیں کی مگر اس کے لیے دو خاص رازدار ضرور ہوا کرتے the prophet sallam then said allah has sent no prophet and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has never appointed anyone on the office of caliphate save that he had two confidants two people who would advise advise the prophet or the khalif obviously the prophets were not in need of advice the prophet sallam was on many occasions in the quran commanded wa shawirhum fil amr wa amrun mashura bainahum Surah to Shura, for example, the, the, the um, Surah of mutual uh, counseling and consultation. The reason why the Prophet ﷺ was ordered, instructed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to seek the advice of his companions was to show other people that I, who is not in need of any advice because I have been given all of the knowledge from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if I can, I'm seeking advice from someone else, then you should not feel ashamed or abased or humiliated going to someone else and seeking their advice. No one from the creation is greater than the Prophet Sallallahu If he sought advice, then we should also seek advice from other people. That is barakah when things happen after consultation, after meeting one another, after taking their opinion. Allah has created everyone with a particular skill, with a particular expertise in, in a certain field. So when you seek their advice, Alhamdulillah, you are taking the course, uh, uh, taking the right course, inshallah, to salvation. So Allah has never sent any prophet, any khalif, save that he had two confidence. بِطَانَتُمْ تَأَمُرُ بِالْمَعَرُوفِ وَتَنْهَاهُ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرُ ایک رازدار کا تو یہ کام رہا کہ وہ اسے اچھائی کا حکم کرتا تھا اور برائی سے روکتا تھا When the khalif would do something wrong, he would stop that person. When he would do something good, he would say, I'll support you in this good cause. He would enjoin good and forbid evil. اور دوسرے کا یہ کام رہا کہ اسے خرابی میں ڈالنے میں کوتا ہی نہیں کرتا تھا there would be another type of person who would advise wrongly advise the caliph and say do this whereas that would be wrong that would be evil it happened to many of the caliphs later on in the islamic uh, islamic world the entire dynasty their, their, their entire uh, caliphate was ruined because of these wrong pieces of advice coming from the wrong people Okay, someone asked him, Mawla Ali Karam Allah Wajul Kareem, why do we see a lot of fitan in your time? Why is there bloodshed, Muslims killing one another? Why is there civil wars and an and, and uprise in your era, in your era of caliphate? He said, because, and why, why didn't we see these in the time of your, the Khulafa who preceded you? Sayyidina Abu Bakr, Sayyidina Umar, Sayyidina Uthman radiallahu ta'ala He said, because, when they were on the office of caliphate, we were the advisors. Alhamdulillah, we were honored to be on the panel, on the committee, on the panel of members, on the advisory board. But today you are our advisors. And this is because you see what you see. So a person should be very careful as to whom he keeps as an, as an advisor. Okay? Um, so because things make or break because of that person because of the advice ill advice or good advice that that person gives okay and then the prophet said woman you have your turn at a suit for a duke yeah joe shucks bure ras dar say bacha bacha dia jai vuvaki shar se bacha dia gaya hai yani jiske pas ese shucks no ho joe ne buri baate kahe bura mashwara de aap ye karo wo karo usko ye karo wo karo to allah tan usko tamam shar se bacha liya hai Whosoever has been safeguarded from an ill advisor has been safeguarded from all types of ill, all types of evil. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the tawfiq to follow in the footsteps of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us all trustworthy inwardly and outwardly with our mu'amala and our uh, dealings with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His creation. Amin ya rabbal alamin.